Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achono and welcome to episode 89 of Game Programming. So today we're going to talk about finishing our little player animation. So we see that if we launch our game, what we have is this dancing little player guy. Not cool. Let's go into our player class and see what we need to do to finish our player guy. So what we have is an animated sprite class. That's what we made last time. We also have this awesome sprite sheet that I made um, in episode uh, 86, 85, I don't know. But the point is we have these, we have four directions here, right? Down, up, left, and right. Let's apply them into, uh, into our game. So if we hit up the animated sprite, I think that's the one that, nope. Okay, so sprite sheet, I think. Yeah, sprite sheet has our different player sprite sheets, our sub sprite sheets. Let's copy and paste that uh, three times for each of the directions. Player up, player uh, left, and player right, okay? So now we have four different sprite sheets for the directions. Now we need to work out which of these numbers go here. So this zero zero is the X and Y offset, okay? Uh, X and Y offset, as, as we can see over here, is actually in uh, sprite precision, not pixel precision. So for for up, which is the one we'll do now, it's offset one, one on the X axis, as, as you can see, and the width and height is the same. So all we need to do is type in um, one over here for player up. Um, similarly, left is offset by two and right is offset by three from the beginning in terms of the X axis. So we need to pop in uh, two and three and that should be, that should be totally fine. Okay. So now that we've done that, if we hop back into our player class, um, we have these animated sprites here. So let's copy them, paste them a few times here, change this one to down this one to up, this one to left, and this one to right. And out of, out, of, out of this thing, we'll create player up, of course, as the sprite sheet, player left here, and player down, player right, sorry, here. Okay, and um, of course, the sizes of the sprites don't change, and the amount of frames in the animation is obviously three, since we, whoops, since we have one, two, three for each of these. Okay, awesome. Now that that's figured out, let's apply these things. So we've got test.update. We need to make sure that we update the current one that's selected. Now there's so many different ways we could do this, okay? Um, I'm just thinking right now, there's really a lot. So what I wanna do instead, because we don't wanna update all of them if they're not used, I'll make another animated sprite object called uh, anim sprite. I don't know, um, let's capitalize that. And we'll set that equal to null for now, okay? But when we do create the player, it's, it's kind of like how we set the sprite equal to sprite.player forward here. We'll set the anim sprite, the animated sprite, equal to uh, down, I guess, to begin with, okay? And that'll set it to this, okay? It won't create a copy of it, it'll just set it equal to this, okay? Kind of like a pointer, I guess. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll, apt we'll update the animated sprite. So if we run this just real quick to see what it, what it looks like once we fix our error here, which is test, I guess, sprite, we'll set it to anim sprite. Dog guess, right? Let's uh, check that out. Okay, we got a nice little crash here. We got a null pointer exception for some reason. Um, so what's null at this point? Anim sprite, we set that equal to down here, I believe. Uh, down is actually equal to a value. I'm not sure why we're getting a null pointer there. Um, so is anim sprite null at this point? Yeah, that's weird. Okay, that, that is null. Okay, let's, um, hmm, let's, Let's do a few things. First of all, let's actually move these. What if we, um, hmm, that's quite odd. It's because, um, I don't know why that's happening, but it shouldn't be. Okay, let's, uh, let's probably drop, um, we could set this equal to down, technically, if, um, let's take a look at that quickly. Okay, that works. Cool, um, let's get rid of it here. So. Basically what we want to do here at this point is um, we also want to make sure that obviously when he changes direction, he moves. So instead of all this uh, animate, well, okay, we've cleaned up the animation code already, so that's great. But what we need to do is set the direction. So when we hit the up uh, button, we've also got the down button here, input.left and input.right, we'll set the animated sprite equal to a sprite. So um, let's set input.up to, um, so let's set anim sprite equal to uh, up, I believe, and for down, let's move this up here. Uh, left and right, we'll do the same. So for down, obviously we'll set it to down. For left, we'll set it to left. And for right, we'll set it to right. Okay, let's check that out. So if we move, okay, of course I screwed something up there. Um, okay, left, what is left? 
Left is left. Okay, what have we done here? Hmm, no, that should be right. That's weird. Let's go back to our player. So, for some reason, up and this works, that works, but if we go uh, left, we kind of screw up here. Um, even though we do set animated sprite equal to left, which is the player.left sheet, which, um, which is set to that one. So that should be right. Hmm. I'm not sure why that's not working. Um, with the height is still the same. I wonder if we change this to one. Yeah, that works. Huh. So what if we change it to three? So now that works. Huh. Okay, that's um why is that happening? I have no idea. Huh. It's like oh I must be No that is player shit. Maybe I'm referring to a different file. I have no idea. Okay, anyway, that seems to work. Um work I'll work that out later. Okay, so now that Oh, that's annoying as well, isn't it? Huh. Okay, so uh, the other thing we need to do is probably say that... Um, let's go back into our player. There's a few little quirks that we should fix up, such as um, uh, these things. So, else, if we chuck an else here, it'll make sure that we can't select both at one time, um, as well as with down, uh, because we can't set both at one time. Um, and the other thing we need to do is probably say that um, if we're going down and left, we should handle that as well. So, for example, um, it's just because of the nature that it's setting it. Uh, I think that if we go ahead and say in left, if... Um, well, we could just... Okay, so let's just check that problem out real quick. If we move up and right, for some reason, it's um, setting that equal to that. Okay. Um, there's... I think... Hang on a minute. There's... Oh. We've... Does this thing matter? Oh crap, we've got this stuff. I thought we removed this code. Damn it. Um, oh great. Okay, I thought this should be an update anyway. Uh, let's um, comment that code out quickly. Not that that should do anything, but... Um, yeah, there we go. That fixed it. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. Um, that was a quick little bug that we had there. Um, now what we should do is probably fix this animation stuff up. So what we want to do is only play the inf the the um, animation if we we're walking. Okay, and that's actually really easy to do, right? All we have to do over here. Um, I'll leave that code commented out. All we have to do over here in update um, is if walking, we need to update it. Otherwise, don't update it. Now that's not, you can see how that kind of works. Now what we might, what we might want to do is set the frame equal to zero as well. So in other words, um, else, uh, anim sprite dot, uh, we can't set the frame, can we? Okay, so we, we should set frame to, set frame to zero, okay? And we'll make that method real quick. So uh, let's create the method. So public void set frame and uh, index, I guess. And all we'll do here is we'll actually set the sprite equal to sheet dot get sprites index. Oops. Now, to handle this quickly, um, we can say that if uh, index is greater than sheet dot get sprites. Uh, dot length minus one then uh, let's return and let's also print out an error to the console so system dot error dot print line index out of bounds in plus well we could just say this can't we but um would probably be better if we said no nah, that's fine okay because I'll give us the exact memory address of this Thing. Okay, cool. So that's just in case we do the index. So back in player, we'll set frame to zero. So if we're not walking, what we should see is the that frame. Okay, and that's a very simple way to fix it. Now our sprite looks our sprite animation looks terrible because I'm not I'm not good at this kind of stuff. 
Um, but I might fix that up in my own time and then maybe let it get back in. But that is, um, that's going to pretty much wrap up this episode. Now, there is one thing that I wanted to show you guys, okay? Um, that's the thing that I uh, told you guys at the beginning of the last episode. Um, if you head over to my website right now, okay, what you'll see is um, this, okay? So this is www.thecherno.com. What you'll see is on the homepage straight away, there'll be a next topic and then there'll be um, a bunch of options. Now, I don't know how, okay? I don't know how people have already voted. There's 15 total votes um, already, okay? I don't have a clue how because I, know I did not announce this anywhere. But the point is, this thing is here for you guys to be able to choose um, what you want me to do next because we're at the point now that we've pretty much done everything and the stuff that we need to do next could be done in any order because the main engine, at least the graphics of the engine have been laid down. So what I'm giving you guys the choice of is uh, non-player characters, a menu, an inventory system, or items. So what I mean by non by mobs essentially is, well, AI kind of thing. Um, by menu, so basically non-player characters. We can have mobs like roaming around and stuff. Uh, menu, by menu, I mean, well, what do you think? A menu, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? Like a main menu, so you guys can select if you want to quit, if you want to play the game, if you want to change the level, whatever. Inventory system, like an inventory system like uh, Realm of the Mad God has, where you can um, drag and drop uh, items. And I guess inventory system really does link with items pretty well. But um, that's what it's looking like. So look, it's looking like mobs are winning right now. Again, this voting hasn't technically started. Um, if you don't... Um, uh, hang on. Okay. To vote, you need to register an account. You might already have one if you do hit login, but otherwise hit register. Okay. All you need to input if you hit register is, I'll look at Google trying to order fill my stuff automatically. Um, to register, all you need to do is pick a username. Spaces are allowed, by the way. Pick a username, enter your email address and create a password. And of course, do this capture thing so that, um, so that bots don't make accounts <laughs> and vote on my polls. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all you'll have to do. Okay. Um, and then hit create a new account. You don't even have to like confirm your email address. I would make sure that it is valid because if you do forget your password, you can request another one over here, okay? Um, but once you do log in, okay? If you do hit log in and you log in, what you'll see um, is, if I go back to home here, um, what you'll see is you can actually vote, okay? So me, I'm probably going to vote for um, items. I think items are cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit vote and also there's something got one vote. So I'll just hit vote and that will actually process that vote. Obviously, and you can see items now has two votes and your vote was recorded, blah, blah, blah. Um, in terms of comments, um, they're also, uh, if you want to suggest something, you can actually leave a comment here as well. You can see people have already done that. Um, but other than that, guys, pick something here, hit the vote button, and that's what we'll probably do next episode. Now, tomorrow, there's not going to be an episode of game programming. There's going to be an episode of network chat programming because people have been bugging me about that for a while, and I do want to finish that series since it's not an overly big series. Um, but other than that, be sure to vote on this poll because that will determine what we do next. And um, other than that, guys, hit like hit, hit the like button below this video because remember, 200 likes equals one video per day, and 300 likes equals two videos per day. All right? So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.